Well, hello there, this is Joseph, and welcome back to Crypt of the Necrodancer, episode 4, let's get back into it. Um, really looking to beat, uh, beat the boss's own one this time, but let's look to, uh, spend our gems first, if we can, that is, probably won't be able to. Huh. Okay. So we can't spend anything, that's alright. It's good to be back, a little nervous. This is one of those games that you have to practice at to be good at. And I haven't, you know, I haven't been playing it, so I don't really have any practice. Okay. Let's just clear this room out. Nice sword early on, that'll help us out tremendously. It's good. I turned down the music quite a bit too. I don't know if you noticed. I don't know if you know this too. It's just the little things. Things I do. Uh, stop missing the beat. Let's, let's take all these guys out. Cool. What's that? Automatic freeze. I don't think I've ever picked that up before. Interesting. a little bit of damage, but I think we're okay. So, I guess it just freezes all the enemies in the room if you get hit too much or something. That's my assumption. So we didn't find the shop. I'm not going to take the time, though. But did we go to the shop? Just not buy anything. I don't remember going to the shop. Here's one right here, so it doesn't really matter. Oh shit. What's the matter, dude? Why are you angry? Holy shit. He took out four hearts? What the hell? Is that just like this game's version of a mimic or something? It's like a shop mimic? That's crazy. I guess let's get right back into it, because... Damn. Got messed up by the shopkeeper. Because I didn't buy from him last time? I feel like that's kind of harsh. Just a little bit harsh, dude. Let's take out this zombie. Go back up this way. Oh, wow. Oh, no, there's a move. Great. That's great. Bunch of dudes wanting to kill me. Pretty much the same as every other. Room. There's fun in repetition sometimes, you know. That's what games like this and uh, you know, Binding of Isaac and Spelunky, you know, you play the same thing over and over again essentially, but it's a little different every time, and uh, it's rewarding and satisfying. I see a gem. Shopping spree. Alright. Evil monkey. Cool. Take this gem. And I guess we still haven't killed the boss. Because that's like the exit, right? Oh no, I guess it's just like a shrine. This is the boss room. Gotcha. This is quite the first floor, man. And here's the shop right here. I don't think I've ever seen the shop in like the last room. Let's just do this. That was close. I'll take the apple. I'll take plus one storage. Thanks, dude, for not trying to kill me. I appreciate it. You know what? I'm going to blow this up. It's free money and all. Free 
Your money is good. We got some gold nugs on the way down too. Excellent. I really want to beat the boss though. I feel like, you know, four episodes in, I should have at least beaten one boss by now. It's alright. This game's tough. I get it. I understand. As one of my favorite YouTubers would say, uh, I'm picking up what, uh, what it's throwing down. I'm picking up what this game's throwing down. Let's see, there's a diamond right here. Awesome. Boss chamber. Damn. I need to, I need to focus more on those minotaurs, like... I went in there knowing, thinking like, oh man, I fought, I fought these guys before, I can handle it. No way. At least we have a few diamonds, we can buy something. Transforms all items. Uh, hmm. One black chest might be good. I don't, I honestly don't know what the difference is in colors. I want to unlock the pick. Okay. That's what we're doing. We're just moving on. It's just one of those games where you gotta keep, keep going. Keep moving on. Oh, Minotaur already. that buddy. See I told you I could handle him. Shit. Of course I beat the Minotaur with like flawless victory and then the skeleton and got the cheap damage on me. Of course. Shovel bigger levels. Hmm. I already have a shovel, don't I? I mean, that's what's appearing every time I dig. So, no, I don't want to do that. Second floor, here we go. I didn't really want to bother with the shop. Just because I've died twice already in this run, or in this episode, rather. Pretty mild second floor, if you ask me. The gold slime, though, it's not really uh, anything, apparently. I thought he would be tough. Unless there's like a dragon or something. If there's a dragon, this floor might get tough real quick. those damn black skeletons that I just can't get a hang of. I have a bomb, my friend. It's just a golden bat. What is this, the first floor? Taking a bit of damage. It's whatever. Oh, I hate these guys. back to the shop. Because if he has a healing item, that, that's really, that's what we need, man. And I'll take those bombs. It's gotta be over here, right? Oh no! Ugh, I didn't even see it, honestly. I honestly didn't even see it.
That was a bad mess up on my part. Screw up. Call it whatever you want, it's bad. Alright, I'll buy the chain mail. I'll take the titanium spear. up here. sort of kitted out right now, but just that our health is so low. Freaking black skeleton, get back. Get back! Tempo up. It's okay. Now there's sort of like pushover. You've been following me for a while, but I really want to help you. Because you're probably another shopkeep. really large, sprawling, easy floor. But I'm probably going to die here in a bit. Just because my health is so low. And how do I get through here? I have to dig. Okay. Okay. And a uh, black minotaur. Yep. Yep. I thought I could kill him right away, but apparently not. It's alright. We'll try again. We will try once more. I might as well get this. That will be a good pickup. Like from a random drop or something. Might be nice. First floor is so freaking slow. And it almost throws you off like how slow it is. I'll take a whip. That works. It's an improvement from the knife. I don't hear the shot. It must be all the way back where we started. Ooh, secret chest. Plus, uh, 0.5 defense. I think that was. It's not bad. I mean, if we find a better trinket, of course, we'll take it. For now, it works. Might as well pick up this loose change. Did I need to heal there? I feel like I popped that for no reason. That's my bad. I was just getting in the music. James. So the boss room has to be up here, right? Come on, monkey. Holy crap. It's okay. Come on. Take me on, I dare you. So I think the trick with the first floor is to just not get patient, impatient, and uh, just take your time and be careful. You'll save all your health for, you know, the really hard shit. Not that the second floor is really that hard either, but I die a fair amount of times on it. It's hard enough for me. <laughs> No sexual innuendo there whatsoever. Totally, totally serious and non, non-sexual. So I don't know what you were thinking. Get your mind out of the gutter, man. What do we have here? Levitation. I'll take it. That's awesome. I am a fucking angel god. Holy shit. 
I wonder like what purpose this serves other than just being awesome. I'm on like the bats level now, I guess. Maybe I can like fly over stuff. Fireball. That's good. I'm just sort of scared I'm gonna run into a dragon at some point. Because usually by this point in the episode I do. And he always like mops the floor with my face. Even like the green dragons, they like they still scare me. Levitate my ass on down this way. I'll take the damage. It's okay. I got cheese. I'll just heal up. Oh yeah, I don't step on traps or water. That's great. That's actually really awesome. Get the cheese. I feel like there will be a secret room here. I'm just gonna do a bit of looking. There is a diamond. I guess not. I guess it was just the diamond. It's whatever. Let's float up here. Oh, black skeleton. I don't know why, I know they're like almost identical to the uh, to the green ones, but it's just something about them, they psych me out. I really want to save up for the key, let's see if we can get it just by bombing here and taking some money. I guess we'll do it one more time. Because I really want to, I really want to get a new shot. I feel like that would help us out. Find the guy in prison before the time runs out, please. There he is. There we go. Some kind of like uh, barbarian blacksmith shit. Holy shit, Red. Oh my god. Oh my god. I might die. I don't think I've ever beaten a red dragon. Yep, nope. Dead. Levitation didn't help me there. Man, oh I forgot we had a fireball, it probably wouldn't have done as good against a, you know, fire dragon, but live and learn, we have a new shop, How's it going? boss master, I'll let you train against bosses, okay, can I train against a red dragon, oh no, Th those are like mini bosses, right, because I haven't even beaten one boss yet. Where's Red Dragon? There we go. I will. I need to practice this. Yep, killed me. A little bit of practice here. This is just hard as balls. This is tough. Oh man. That fireball is just like super killer. How can I do this? Oh man. Yep, nope. I need to get like two away. No, cause then like you turn and like holy shit. So can can the dragon fireball up and down? No he can't. So that's what I need to do. Is this. Alright. Excellent. I just do that. And not that. This. Okay. So up and down, he can't do the fireball. That's the secret. That's the trick, you see. Oh, I gotta spend the rest of my diamonds. Hello. 
One damage, kill dash. What's kill dash? What's kill dash? I want to know. Let's try to get through this as painlessly as possible. I really just want to beat the boss, man. I want to beat one boss. The spear. Okay. I don't really understand throwing, like, why would you throw your only weapon? I guess it's like a life and death kind of like, you know, Hail Mary kind of thing to do. But I mean, like, if you add another weapon, if, like, like you get an alternate weapon, I would be more uh, prone to use it, or more tempted to use it. That Minotaur was surprisingly easy. bats keep your gold anyway. Never mind. I don't want to know. It's probably something gross. I just don't want I don't want anything to do with that. I don't want that to uh to be a memory for me. Thank you. Alright, so what do we need here? Five damage, what the What the five damage dagger? Like, there's no way I have enough to get that, but... Holy crap. I didn't even know that existed. That's some crazy OP item right there. That's a crazy OP item. It's so OP, like, I can't even talk. We'll have to try that one of these days. We, we like, somehow managed to find 400 gold to buy that shit. I'm guessing it's like a super rare item to show up, and uh, it only showed up on the first floor for me, so how would you get 400 gold on the first floor, unless you found a bunch of bombs, and uh, you just blew up all the shopkeep's walls. So we got the Ring of Courage. What's uh, Lunge? Oh, I just take their place? Like, I take their place after I kill them. Or I take their square, or whatever. I guess I just move one forward. Protect the charm again, that's good. I do wish it were a bit stronger. Or you could get like an upgrade to it. So lunge is actually really good. Because it moves you out of the way before anything can hit you. That's cool. Dragon. I'm not. I'm not too worried. I am a little worried. There we go. Spear sort of makes it easy. Spear with lunge, I think, is a great combination. I'll take the apple right now. I didn't know you couldn't attack out of water. That's actually really good to know. I'm glad I figured that out with, uh, without, like, dying. Give blood, get blood weapon. No thank you. My life is precious to me. Oh, what, what the fuck? I should have taken damage there, but I didn't somehow. guys up but my combo is like my item combo is just crazy right now get out of here oh I'm trapped holy shit I could have died right there I actually like how he takes away one block when he charges into it that's cool This room is just hell on wheels. I need some help desperately. What's up here? Bomb. 
I'll take a bomb. I'll take that gem too if I can kill all you fools. Yeah, fall down there. It's a good move, man. Oh no, oh no! No! I fell down there. Now I have to fight a boss with a heart and a half. And it's King Konga too, again. Okay. I can do this. I probably can't, but... Did I just kill him? Oh no, he teleports. Oh my god, it's like a staggered beat. Holy... And he hits diagonally? Oh man. I want to beat you, King Konga. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. I feel like I can do this. Alright. I'm gonna get this fool. You'll see. I know you don't believe me now. You'll see. I feel like I got this. Let's just get this chest. Ooh, that is, uh... This is some good stuff. And I took some damage, like, really, really dumb damage. You know what? I'm not one to ever restart, but I just can't progress with that kind of damage under my belt. I wouldn't feel I wouldn't feel good. I wouldn't feel right. All items become glass. Okay. I wonder what I mean the only reason I did that is because I'm pretty much gonna lose the dagger as soon as I find another weapon. So I guess, like, it does kick-ass amounts of damage, but maybe when I get hit, it breaks. That would be my guess. Alright. Carefully. Slow and steady. Jeez, that's good. Oh my god. Oh man, kill the dragon in one hit. Class rules. I mean, I'm guessing once you get hit, it all breaks. Because that's like, uh. That's like D, &D rules. Glass items can be like enchanted to do really badass shit, but then they break really easily. Yep, all my shit's broken. Can I even attack? Nope. Can't even attack. Shop. Where's the shop? I need the sh I need the shop. I need it. I need the shop. I'm gonna die. Oh, I heard him down there. No. No. Must escape. Alright, I heard him down here somewhere. What's in the chest? Oh my god. Oh my god. Where are you, shop? Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh well. That's what happens when you take a gamble. And I definitely took a gamble. We'll go for one more. I want both of those. Both of those cheap ass items. Take you and you. Oh, what the hell? What just happened? Holy crap. What what the hell's go what the hell? What what's happening? I don't know what's happening. I just died. What the hell? Is that a flaming horse? Is that is that a flaming horse with purple lips? All right. All right. I think I've had enough of this game for today. Okay. Okay. So, I don't know what just happened. You guys uh, make out of that what you will. But uh, that's enough for me for right now, because. I have to uh, process what that was. That 
horrifying abomination. All right. So this has been Crypto the Necrodancer. Thanks for watching again, episode four. We're getting there, man. You know, like always, we're getting there. So this has been Joseph, and uh, not Joseph, Joseph. And thanks for watching, guys. Uh, closing out.